Welcome to your video. Today's topic will be migration from Afghanistan to Pakistan. The video is done by Delayla Avila, Karen Garcia, Olivia Jurado, and Aneth Delao. Immigration is when people move from their current country to another country for push or pull factors. During 1978, the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan took over the government ruling which many did not prefer because it interfered with their culture. During the time, the Soviet Union and Afghanistan were neighboring countries. This led to the beginning of a rebellion known as the Mujahideen. Eventually, violent outbreaks began, including the murder of the president leader. The war outbreaks led to Afghanistan civilians seeking refugee in the neighboring country, Pakistan. Ramenstein's theories are most migration is over short distances, which would be neighboring countries, neighboring cities, even another neighborhood. It Migration occurs in steps. Not in this case because it's a refugee emergency, but it happens in steps like step one. There's like a process of why you're trying to leave. Um, uh, rule number three, the long uh, theory number three is long range oh, is greater than urban. So refugee, not to a long distance country. So they, they do not move to a different, like they don't move far away. Like if you're in Australia, you're not going to move to America. And theory number four is movement in the opposite direction. Basically what this happens is that the flow of the economy or the culture, that's the way you're going and you're not going against it, which would be going to the, to the main reason why they're leaving. Now, number five, rural and are more migratory. Refugees are mo mostly evacuate from all types of places, and they mostly evacuate from rural places. Um, females are more migra migratory than males, but males do go. They might they immigrate during, from long distances, and. Most immigrants are adults because they are single and they're young and they're trying to find new opportunities. And large towns grow by migration that other rather than by natural causes. Uh, because migration basically just brings up the economy of the new country that they're moving to. Uh, migration increases with eco eco economic development and well, migration just moves to a place where there's more job opportunities and more money. And migration is mostly due to economic causes. Like maybe the place they're trying to leave does, they don't have many job opportunities or education or many things like that. A push for a refugee would be war or a dying economy. A pull would be economic opportunity, like jobs, like I said before and more, like them being safe in the new country. The ESPN factors are, well, the economic is a push would be the dying economy and a pull would be economic opportunities, like economic growth. Um, a social would be, well, a push for social would be the lack of social services. And a pull for that would be the better social services, like how the people communicate, how the people are. Um, the political push would be war and a lot of things like, like the government being corrupt and things. A pull factor for political would be a refugee, well, like a refugee because they're being, they're being treated as actual human beings, not like people that are not like aliens. And a natural push would be um, like famine or there's no land available or like no space in the area or the area isn't good enough. A pull for an, a natural pull cause would be there's more land available, there's more activity going on with the land and it's better.